much to catch up on. Like this bird I just saw. This little bird just landed on Aunt Lavinia's coffin. It was like a, mm, a symbol or a, a, a metaphor. It was like a message from Aunt Lavinia herself telling me to keep writing, to keep shining a light in the darkness and to never give up hope. Deathy, are you okay? No, I feel like shit. Oh, no, what's wrong? It's this damn war. It's just dragging on and on, and it's taking all the fun out of my work. I used to have so much fun coming up with creative ways to kill people. This person will fall off a bridge. This fool drink a little poison. These two kill each other out of love. But now it's just the same thing over and over again. Bullet, gangrene. Bullet, gangrene. Mm -hmm. It's so repetitive. <sighs> I think I'm depressed. Wow. So even death has bad days. Emily. I need some advice. Advice? Yeah, that's what I'm here for. I need your help. Okay, yes, ask me, ask me anything. So you write poems? Yep, that's right. Brilliant ones. Mm. Unique ones. Thank you. Very inspired. <laughs> Even though you live a pretty uneventful life. Uneventful? I, I, not sure that's <laughs> the case. I mean, come on now, your life's pretty boring. You barely leave your little town. You still live in your dad's crib. Every day is pretty much the same, but you still stay inspired. Where do you get that fire from? Well, while I'm here, I want to do something that matters. And I mean something that really matters. It's bigger than fame or money. It's about actually changing people's lives. It's about helping them heal, helping them survive. <laughs> I want to be that little bird. That source of light in the darkness. I want to give people hope. Hope? Hmm. I believe poetry can be powerful. Even more powerful than you. <laughs> I mean it. Death can tear people apart. Poetry can put them back together again. So what you're saying is... I inspire you. Always.